crazy thing is I remember um, after we had done the song and was just playing it back, I was just chopping it with Travis and I was like telling him like, you know, he got the Astro World concept. I was like, this sounds like the carousel moment of the album. So essentially, I guess I named the song and he was like, this is what I want to name it. Back to the days in it, taking no days in. Yeah. Don't need a vacation, I need a replacement. Right. Busting the lights out as soon as we came in. Yeah. What are they talking about? What is pertaining? Yeah, yeah, let me Just got a call one day from the homeboy Sycamore, who's Travis uh, A&R. He told me come to the studio. He was like, it's a big session, so just come like dolo or with like one person. So I just slid up there and I had a pack of beats. He told me Frank Ocean was gonna be there. So Travis had played some of Astro World and Frank was playing records and then they told me to play beats. Carousel was like the third one or something like that. So I played a few after that and it was like, go back to that one. And I literally saw him like freestyle the whole song. I got the Beastie Boys sample from my homeboy EY, producer. Calling on the corner on a hot summer's day. Just me and my posse and MCA. MCA. A lot of beer, a lot of girls, a lot of cursing. Basically, it started like this from when I first got it out the pack. So, I mean, I literally just pitched it down one semitone. When I pitched it down, I definitely, that always just is gonna add dirt to it and just make it more grimy. After I uh, looped that up, I had this VST, this, uh, it's called OVO R&B, and we started going through sounds and I came up on this bell. Like literally just looped that little measure up. The sound is like some futuristic type shit already, so it, it needed some chords behind it. So the same bell that I used for the arpeggiated part of the uh, melody, I also played the chords with from this same uh, OVO VST. Like my mom would listen to a lot of Mary J. Blige and just whoever was popping in the early 90s. So I feel like me like being interested in chords and stuff like that comes from that. I mean, I remember being four or five years old and I can still remember how chord progressions made me feel back then. Well, I didn't even know what it was. So then when you put it all together, you get this. I just went straight into the drums program and I programmed the hi-hats and then uh, a sound behind the hi-hats and made it have even more of a groove. Um, after I got I got the hat, I wanted to do something to give it like even more of a bass. So I found this, uh, like these clicks. When you put them together, it sounds like. So it's kind of just skating along with the hat and giving it that crazy groove. Yeah, so once I got there, I'm like, you know, I got it locked in pretty much. I just gotta obviously do the kick and the snare. So once I found the snare, I was like, this is just wild, it's heavy. Like, you know what I'm saying? It makes you feel away. so. I just put a distorter on it, gave it a little more umph, and then this parametric equalizer, just put the snare drum in hands on it. It only comes in like every other bar, so it's like, found this uh, crazy, like it's like a kick in the 808s together. Put a wave shaper on it, took that up a little bit, then parametric, put the bass drum punch on it. As far as the 808, it gave it that bottom I was looking for, like, cause it got the brightness with the keys and the dirtiness with the sample. And then that bottom just, is just disgusting, I feel like. After I laid the 808 and put it with the rest of the layers, this is what it uh, came out to be. I wanted to add one more sound. I was gonna take it up a notch just for, it's like comes in for like four bars and that's it. So it just gives it that moment where it's like, what the fuck is going on? The 
feeling I want people to get is that feeling that I had uh, being able to be up at seven in the morning, jumping up and down. And when kids getting ready for school, they listening to Carousel, getting hyped. What's the cracking? You already know who it is. Your boy, Big Tuck, Freight Train Tuck. Astro World is nan session, you understand? I'm the dean of this here. I got this. I didn't hear the Tug voicemail until after uh, the album came out, and I've dug further in to understand what it was about, which I didn't, because you know, I'm from California, so I didn't know about the song. But when I saw her, I was like, this is hard. Like, this makes sense, and it just connects the story. Quite the days in, it taking no days in. Yeah. yeah. Don't need a vacation, I need a replacement. All right. Uh. I pretty much heard the final version of Carousel when it was done. Like I said, they freestyled it in front of me, like both parts, like Travis went in, then Frank went in, and then Travis went in again. I thought they were just going to use, you know, Frank's vocals from the prior part, but he was like, no, nah, I got to get back in on this. So that's when he did the other verse. And I'm like, wow, this shit is a, it's a magic moment. Like Travis was doing his thing, jumping up and down around the studio, you know, and everybody was loving the song. So I kind of, I, I knew it was something then. Suck it drown like brown white diamonds. When you work with him and you do a song and then like once he once he gets to the end and he wants to throw the ad libs on it, that's when you know it's lit. Better pray, better pray to wings. That's how I know we made some shit. New place I got to New World, new sky, that's so blue is got to I'm super been a fan of Frank, like before his name was even Frank Ocean, like way back in the day, like we would chop it. We would talk on iChat all the time and I would send him beats like almost every day. Both of our first placements was on a Brandy album back in the day. He wrote it, I think that might've been his first placement. That was like my second or third. So just for us to come full circle, like 10 years later with this carousel joint is like, you know, we both been locked, on, locked in on our music shit.